Hey there, Harish here from the Motion Product Team. In this lesson, we're going to explore how ad hoc stages give you the flexibility to adapt your projects on the fly, ensuring you can respond to changing requirements without disrupting your workflow. Projects sometimes don't follow a perfect linear path from start to finish. New requirements emerge, new review cycles may be necessary, and unexpected steps may need to be added. Motion's ad hoc changes feature allows you to adapt to these changing requirements by allowing you to add stages to ongoing projects without affecting your standard operating procedures. You can add stages directly to a specific project whenever new requirements emerge. The changes only affect that project, preserving your template's integrity. The new stages can be positioned anywhere in your project after a current stage. And you maintain complete control over the structure of the individual projects while keeping your templates and your standard operating procedures still intact. This ensures your projects can naturally evolve as requirements change without compromising on your standards within your organization. Let's look at this in action. Here you can see I'm in my motion marketing campaign pro project that's based off of my campaign management workflow template. I've already completed the planning stage and I'm currently in the content creation stage. And I might want to add an additional stage. Maybe we want to do something like A-B test a few different types of content. So I want to add a stage for creating alternate options, etc. So I can just come in here and say, hey, add a stage. We immediately tell you that this action will unsync this project from its original template. You can just hit continue, give the stage a name. In this case, I'm calling it AB test. Give it a color. I'm just going to choose tangerine and hit create new stage. You can see it immediately adds your stage right in line and allows you to add tasks to it. The dates for the project have also been amended to account for the new stage that you've added. I can then come in here and add tasks to it. I can say create alternate content options for A-B testing. And I can say create cohorts for content and test. As you can see, I can then modify these tasks as I see fit. And all of my stages are present. If you decide, for instance, you don't want a stage anymore, you can even delete it from the instance of that project. For instance, in this case, since we're doing an A-B test, I might not need my launch preparation project. So I can come in here and just say delete. And this will actually ask you what you want to do to the stages in this task. Do you want to remove those tasks or do you want to move them to the next stage or the previous stage? In this case, I'm just going to delete them. So I'm just going to delete and say continue. And that stage is now removed and your project can continue as needed. Now let's look at what we've covered. We've covered how ad hoc stages provide the flexibility to adapt to emerging requirements without restructuring templates, how you can maintain project specific customizations while preserving standard workflows across your organization, and how it gives you control over individual project evolution without compromising on organizational standards. That's it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, happy scheduling.